All right, man. We are back with another review. We're going to be reviewing three things today. This first video is going to be about Atlanta, season three, episode eight, New Jazz. Um, the title, as always, is going to be in for Atlanta because it's always very important, but going along with kind of the theme of what I'm going to be talking about, even the title is kind of predictable and almost inconsequential to the episode other than like him being called New Jazz. Um, at one point in the episode, a character, a new character, calls Paperboy New Jazz. That's kind of what they call him in his little mind thing during this episode. So to explain uh, quickly over the episode, it's... Um, I'm gonna go very slow because people should, if you're watching this for the specific episode, hopefully you've seen it. Um, Paperboy, Al, does some mysterious tea type drug with Darius and kind of goes crazy for the episode and you start to see what's going on in his mind. You don't know that it's going on in his mind until at some other point in the episode usually. Um, and it ends with everything being tied together in a, oh, okay, kind of moment and then a like, oh man, like... The usual Atlanta, especially from this season, and that's what I want to get into is that um, what you the term "if it ain't broke, don't fix it." I think Atlanta's taken that to a point a bit far this season, where it's like they have this formula of what they use of you start the episode and you have something going on, and it's like, oh, what's happening? They set up something, and then it starts, and you go, what's happening? What's going on? And then at one point, there's the like, oh wow, and then it ends with the like, that's what that meant, and. While that's great and while they have had success with that in the past, that's the layout for every single episode this season. They just do the same thing to the point where at the beginning of this episode, I even the last episode, like I knew that was happening. And as the episode started, I was looking for it. And like, this isn't a murder mystery. I don't want to be doing that every episode where I'm like, okay, how are they going to make me like guess what's going to happen? Because not even like, a, how are they going to make me think? I spend most of the episode guessing where I'm like, what is going on? What is happening? And... I don't think that's their target. I think their target is to tell a story, and especially this season, something socially or politically or, you know, racially. It's like that's the one thing I think they've had consistent success with this season is telling those kind of stories. And that's the one part that I can really say I've enjoyed is that they've been very clear about the message they're trying to send. And while that's great, I think that this layout is becoming a bit tired. And again, I'm saying all this as a fan and somebody who just wants the show to kind of be at its best. And for me, it just hasn't been. Um, so I think they're getting lost in that a bit and sacrificing the other 50% of what this show, what made this show great for just this one part where like the social, uh, messages and the, everything they were doing with that is still there. And that was always one of their strengths. But the other 50% was that they intertwined that with like how quirk, not quirky, but funny and like had this real humor to it that you hadn't seen in the show before. And this season, like at this point, it's not a comedy. I laughed the first few episodes and in the reviews that you can see it, I stopped even reviewing funny things and I'm like really excited when I have one funny part of an episode and it's like I've loved the social value of the this season but I haven't enjoyed this season as just a viewer of TV because I'm like the show isn't funny like it used to be it's not the same tone I'm honestly I know it's gonna go comedy for awards but I'm like this is not the same show comedically this isn't a comedy I haven't laughed in episodes like I mean episodes like at least three since I've had like a good out laugh out loud and that used to be my favorite part is this episode these shows this show sorry used to make me laugh out loud at least twice, three times an episode. It doesn't do that anymore. It prioritizes the social cues and the every, the story it's telling, which is good, but it doesn't need to be pushed as far as I think they're pushing it in order to like have to sacrifice another really important part of the show. Um, also, you're seeing this where like this season, I talked about in other episodes, there's too many episodes where there's not anyone from the original cast in it. Um, and I actually did a review on episode seven that's no longer posted because um, I actually had a comment from somebody, I should remember their name, that pointed out that I really had nothing good to say about the episode. And I was even saying things that I honestly probably didn't mean just because I was in this frustrated mindset of why is the show tanking this way? Because it was getting really tired to have to watch people I don't care about, people that had nothing to do with the show and the plot, do things that each episode I was caring less about. Or it's like in the beginning when they were doing these untied stories about people that aren't part of the cast, the stories are very interesting. And while this episode seven, it was a very, very good social story and it told a really important message. I didn't enjoy it as a show. And it's like, I know I'm getting what they're showing me there. It's like, I want something else on top of that. You know what I mean? If I'm going to do that, I want to laugh. I want to see something I've never seen. And it's like, I had seen that before. That was a story I'd seen. That is a lesson I had learned. 
And um, while I can't say that for everybody, as a viewer, I don't want just that. I want a little bit more. And that's what always made Atlanta special, and they didn't have that. And so episode seven, I had nothing but bad things to say. And so I took the whole post down because thank you to the person who commented that, you know, who's going to watch me trash a show that I honestly even like? It's not, if I have nothing to say, nothing nice to say, I'm just not going to say anything at all. So I apologize for anybody that may be looking for episode seven's review. I just, I, I couldn't. Um, but here, it's much better. The story is much better. The ending is very interesting. Uh, there is one part that I was very upset because it was very predictable. At the beginning, before Al and Darius do their drugs, they see some homeless man with a hat, and it's very clearly, I'm like, that's going to end up being one of them later in the episode. And it does. It ends up being Al. Which is not bad, but it's like, that's another thing. Atlanta usually didn't get let you get ahead of them, and it seems almost lazy, where it's like, oh, they kind of just went, well, if they figure it out, they figure it out. Um, the message is great, though. Like, there's a woman that calls him old jazz or new jazz, sorry, not old jazz, new jazz. And she says, she tells him that she's telling him all the stuff that's like hurting his feelings, but she's like, look, I'm telling you the things you don't, that you need to hear, not that you want to hear. And you find her name's Lorraine. And at the end he asks, um, Ern, where's Lorraine? And he goes, your mom? And you find out that that was like in his head, that's his mom the whole time. All the things his mom probably told him. It was just, it was a very good episode for Al. And while I'm glad that we got to dig into him, I'm looking for a Darius episode now. We have to have to have a Darius episode. I know they're going to give us a van episode, which is great, because they're really forcing the whole something's going on with van thing, which is also getting tired at this point, because, I don't know, it's a little convoluted now. Um, I want to see more Darius, because he's basically become just a one-liner hit, and then he's out for the rest of the episode, every episode, and they're doing nothing. Or it's like the Darius adventures that he would go on, and all this other stuff is just gone, and they're just going to give us like one episode of that now. And I, I'm not a fan of that, but I at least want one. Uh, but overall, this episode wasn't bad. But I am really, I want them to just, uh, I'm assuming for this season, if there's only two episodes left, they're not going to change the algorithm. There's not going to be much different about the last two episodes. Um, but under the rumor I've got that they filmed the next season even ahead of time, maybe this was all kind of plotted ahead, maybe not. I hope so. If not, um, you know, it is what it is. It's still a very good show, but it's just not as great as those first two seasons. And maybe that's intentional that they wanted to change the direction of the show. But my big takeaway from this is just, from the most of the season, I don't know how they're going to go comedy with this because this is not a comedy. It's just not. It's closer to like Black Mirror than it is comedy. So, I don't know. But that's episode eight, New Jazz, um, Atlanta season three. Let me know what you think in the comments. See you next video.